Anime scaled some events down and did some things differently, which gave a lot of people false hope and confused them. Producers were probably worried about a possible depression outbreak or something. So let me start. When Kotori thanked Willem, she was in a lot worse shape in the novel than it was shown in the anime. Keep watching this, and you get to see what I mean by that. Also showing baby Kotori in the end, made many people think, that maybe she is reborn. But that scene is only a flashback from her birth. Willem and Nefren are missing. They are technically alive, and that's why you saw the two ripples when the sage was looking for them. But their situation is complicated to say the least. Read the novels, if you want to find out more on what happened to them. Kutori is dead. Please. Please stop the video here, and check out a fan translated excerpt you see now on your screen, describing her state, when her body was recovered. This will paint a million times better picture, of what kind of battle Kotori was in, than I ever could. She also protected the Sky Islands. With another spore attack not predicted for decades. This doesn't necessarily mean Kotori is gone for good forever, and there are fan speculations, but I will not spoil the novels here any more than that. Season 2 is highly unlikely. Most anime these days are just ads, for its source material, and this was an ad, for the light novels. Novels before the anime came out had a small dedicated fan base in Japan. These fans helped the novels to survive when they were at risk of getting cancelled. The anime didn't break any records, but it did help to promote the novels. The light novel series consists of five volumes plus a side novel. It also spawned a sequel series, which currently, as of March 2019 has seven volumes released in Japan. It focuses on the events that happened five years after the events of Suka Suka. If you just want, to continue the story, start with volume 4. But I still, just like I said in the review, would recommend starting, with volume 1. Anime skipped some things, and you would get a clearer picture of what happened and most importantly, it would add so much more to the characters. I love the soundtrack in this anime. The music in Suka Suka, as well as the music in Kimi no Nawa, inspired me to learn to play piano. So I bought a keyboard, and first thing I did, I learned to play an easy version of Scarborough Fair. The anime does have its flaws, but it is very dear to me. Would make me really happy if at least someone discovered this anime thanks to the videos I made. Not going to bore you any more than that. Stop the video here, if you want to read my explanation, about some of the other things that people found somewhat confusing in the anime. Leave a like if this video helped you. Thank you for your patience.